The thug is in. Okay, guys, what is up? This is Logan, also known as LRXC on Pokemon Showdown, and today we're just gonna load up a Gen 3 1v1 round robin in the 1v1 room and see what randoms are using. That's the goal of today's video. Um, <laughs> reason I haven't uploaded in a while is yesterday I actually uploaded a video where I was on 1700s on ladder and I forgot to click freaking record and it was so good, so I'm pissed about that. Not only that, but I did contract the coronavirus, so I'm kind of out of it, feeling a little bit sick, but um, let's make a video to keep myself sane. So, today we are using these teams that I built about like two months ago, both featuring Guts normal type Pokemon. We got Ursaring, we got the Swellow, we're rocking it, it's cool, um, and yeah. Alrighty, we're restarting the music. The tournament finally started. <coughs> Let's see how this goes. We're gonna start with the Ursaring team. Um, okay, we got the, uh, this dude is rocking the sample team. Um, and I'm out of it. Okay, this guy's rocking the sample team. Um, our pick is going to be Ursaring because uh, our Ursaring is actually EV'd to tank a Sceptile even if it goes Subpataya Overgirl Leaf Blade. We, uh, on oh, it could be defensive, but I know this is the sample team, so I'm going Ursaring, and most people hilariously go Marowak into this team anyway. Okay, this guy lost. So, what's cool about, so usually Raikou is, like, pressure stall. Um, a lot of you guys might know this, but, like, protect substitute plus leftovers, and it causes me to struggle, but because return is 32 PP, we are not going to lose this, um, because it does, it has enough power points so that it goes through all of their substitute and protects. Um... Yeah, and even if they're packing rest to use right at the end, Ursaring's struggle is too strong because it's like it's a stab struggle that uh, we will win this matchup. And this guy's about to learn. Usually people forfeit when they see return turn one. But this guy does not know because he is new to Gen 3 1v1. Everyone is. And uh, yeah, he doesn't know what came to him. Okay, let's go. Come on. Substitute protect he goes to 26 this is a, this is a wrong ev raikou it should <laughs> that should be at 26 hp but it isn't which is hilarious um we would have had enough anyway we have we have um we have four left because it pressure takes away two yep gg all right let's load up the next one we got turret we're gonna rock the earth ring team again Alrighty, so we got uh this is interesting so blissey is a very annoying pokemon in this generation my ursaring actually with the banded hyper beam just ko's it it's the most powerful hyper beam in the game um we would also have a chance to ko the swampert but it's it's kind of unlikely houndoom uh houndoom would be a very hard pick into the heracross but zapdos can also usually handle the heracross what do i think he sees he might think the Swampert wins, so I kind of want to just go the Zapdos and, um, let's go Zapdos. Okay, he went Heracross, interesting. We're going to, I'm going to sub turn one on the Endure, very nice. He might have thought I was going to be like a banded Drill Peck or something. So this is very clean. I'm going to Thunderbolt. Oh, crit. That did matter. Um, Heracross actually can outplay Substitute Protect a Zapdos because, um, I think this Zapdos as well isn't even that um, attack special attack invested. Yeah, it isn't. This is like my fully defensive uh, um, Zapdos. I, I have this for, I believe, just maximizing how much physical attacks I can take. And also, like, I think a banded Aerodactyl Rock Slide potentially. I don't really remember. Let's load up the next one. <clears throat> Okay, we got Ains Karad, and we got an ad in the background. Very nice. All right, so this is this garbage sample team that... Okay, it's stable sample team. I think it's garbage because Jolteon is not very good at all. 
and this just is the biggest like 2-1 team I've ever seen um here's the thing I can go um Zapdos is never a, well Zapdos would be a hard pick into the hair Blaziken this team actually has troubles with Blaziken in general but what I can do is I can go this hard into these two and I think I can finesse the Blaziken so I'm gonna go the Ursa Ring he did go the Blaziken let's actually go to Smogon and just to make sure what this garbage Blaziken set was it is Endure, but I don't think that's gonna matter much when I'm hitting it with a banded return. I wonder if he'll Sky Uppercut turn one. Doesn't matter. I think we're gonna destroy this thing right now. Um, let's see. It does click Endure on the return. Let's see if it's uh let's see if it kills me. It might kill me. I don't know though. I'm pretty spadef invested. Okay, it did kill me. That's unfortunate. Um so that's that's an issue for this team but uh, like zapdos can outplay it pretty handedly like with thunderbolt into protect into thunderbolt um but uh but like a blaziken that's like specially defensive invested oh i should have used a different team darn it i meant to use my swellow team okay actually this is good because swellow has a terrible matchup versus this okay we got alakazam um this ursa ring beats pretty much every alakazam unless it's like the barrier recover set I can also click counter on the Metagross and um, probably beat the Swampert. I don't know if this guy's going to go Swampert into this team or if he knows about Hidden Power Grass on Zapdos. Um, and I can go Hound I can go Houndoom hard into these two. But honestly, Ursaring just does the same thing. Um, I feel like this guy might see something with uh, the Swampert. And if he wants to pick Metagross into the Ursa Ring, uh, Zapdos covers that as well, and I might beat an Alakazam. Let's see. Okay, he does go this. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the substitute protect route. I'm gonna click protect turn one. Um. Well, actually, if he's return, I just lose anyway. So I'm gonna click sub. If this is like that Spadef return Metagross, I actually would lose. I actually do lose, but I doubt this guy's running return. He is running Rock Slide, so this will be a victory. We're going to Protect. We're going to Sub. And if we get a miss, it's even better. Um, he's already at four more. Alrighty. Substitute. He has one more left, so I'm going to Protect. And now we hope he is Banded. Okay, Struggle actually does kill there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is Protect. Then we're going to do Thunderbolt. That did not do as much as I wanted. That did a lot. Um, that's unfortunate, actually. I might lose this. We're going to Protect. Oh, that's so annoying. I should have... Um, I should not have substituted. That was a misplay. I did. I had no reason to substitute when I had to expect that he was um, banded. How much did Thunderbolt do? Um, I'm going to have to go for a double Protect here. And we do land the double Protect. Unfortunate for our opponent. I think I can just substitute and hope that my Thunderbolt kills, honestly. That's what we're going to do. We're going to substitute. He's going to do a good amount. Okay, we're going to we're gonna protect just to be cute. Protect just to be cute. And now Thunderbolt should kill. Alrighty, we outplayed there. Uh, we're going to go the Swellow team. So this is a team I built around Swellow. It's... Swellow is definitely not a very good Pokemon in ADV. I on my rankings that I'll have out soon, I'll probably rank it like like C minus or D. Um, the only reason I decided to build around Swellow is because I wanted to beat a team that this uh, person Alice was using, which is like a, it was a very hyper offensive like um, Houndoom Alakazam uh, Metacham team, and uh, Swellow is really good against like non-meta teams that are using a lot of this like fast, flimsy anti-stall stuff. And so that's why it pairs really nicely with Registeel. Um, it's all, it is just kind of a cool Pokemon in general as well. Like you, you actually KO Raikou with Hyper Beam, which is hilarious if they're not running defense. Um, and then I paired it with Hariyama so that I don't lose to other Registeel. Um, the Blissey matchup. Hidden Power Ghost for like Dusclops and stuff. It, it's pretty cool. Um, we're in a match, aren't we? We are in a match against Itchy. Uh, alrighty, so... This is a rough one. I don't know what this Alakazam is. Oh, this is actually my team. This is definitely my team. This is that um, Calm Mind, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch. Uh, this is that DD Salamence. And this is the Counter Hariyama. So little does this... little Probably this person does not know that... Um, 
Uh, well, my team actually can lose to Hariyama if they if they don't click an attacking move turn one. I wonder if you'll if they'll go for counter, then Sky Attack will win. Um, but they might go Salamence into the Reggie Steel, but uh, I don't want to lose to Hariyama. I'm going Swellow. They did go Salamence. Very unfortunate. Let's hope they uh, let's hope they just lose. Sky Attack. He does go Dragon Dance. We are going to die. Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. They went. <clears throat> they went Salamence. I I didn't really want to go Reggie Steel. I wanted to go Swellow into the other two. Wow. Finally, a unique team. Uh, this guy's using Gengar, Marowak, Porygon 2. I think Porygon 2 sucks, by the way. Um, Porygon 2 is usually just the worst Blissey. Blissey has infinitely more bulk. Um, and it's just it's just better um, because it also has access to counter, which is really nasty. The only reason I could see using Porygon 2 is for technically preview versatility like you could maybe go like a banded set with like hp fighting or shadow ball or even like return um technically porygon 2 hits harder but it's not like that really matters for anything in my opinion um yeah i just don't i just think porygon 2 sucks um but it's fine i guess uh this team has no answer to a hariyama i do not think Unless it's like Psychic Gengar. Alright, so if I recall correctly here, we are going to bulk up. I'm going to bulk up. They're going to go Body Slam. Very interesting. I'm going to Cross Chop this man. Um, he is going to Body Slam again. Not get the Paralyzed. We're going to go Hidden Power Ghost and kill it. GG. That was a very weird Marowak set. No clue why it's Body Slam and why it clicked Body Slam when Bone Ring does infinitely more damage. Alrighty. Yo, it's my sample team. Oh, it's one of my sample teams, the Blue Crew. Uh, this is Dragon Dance, Flail, Gyarados, Spadef, Swampert, and uh, this Regice has HP Grass. So, unfortunately, Swallow does absolutely nothing here. Um, and this is literally either I go Registeel into the Dragon Dance Gyarados and also Regice and losing to the Swampert, or I go my bulk up well this uh or i go the hariyama into the uh swampert he might think that the swampert wins he's never going regice do i think he's gonna go gyarados um hmm. yeah this literally just loses to the swampert no matter what we're gonna go hariyama to the swampert okay he does go this this is funny we're gonna bulk up and we're gonna focus energy Focus energy is really... That's why I really like Hariyama for access to focus energy plus... Um, the focus energy plus um, bulk up. Because this allows Hariyama to break through Registeel without having to worry about setting up. Put this swelly do gun. <laughs> he quit, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was so easy one thing i wanted to mention though that's cool on this ursa rank team is um all right merman hold on yeah you guys should check out merman's stream by the way um he streams 1v1 stuff sometimes anyway uh real quick just for this team uh reason i um went brick break over usually i think hp ghost is really good because it helps make use of guts and you'll never lose to like um like a Gengar that Will-O-Wisps or a Dusclops that clicks Will-O-Wisp. HP Ghost is really nice for that. The reason I went Brick Break though is because I wanted to 100% beat Tyranitar. Without Brick Break, um, you can get finessed by like Dragon Dance if you try to click Counter on Dragon Dance. And because these other two are so weak to Tyranitar, I couldn't risk that. So I went Brick Break. Because I have Brick Break, I needed Houndoom to beat Dusclops and, uh, and Gengar because Earthring literally can't hit Gengar. Um, not only that, but Houndoom also helps beat <clears throat> Registeel for Ursa Ring. Um, fighting types like like a Heracross. Um, that's why and I really think Endure Salak is the best set because you can Fire Blast the Heracross and if they click Endure, you click Endure the next turn and you outspeed so you'll never lose to Salak Heracross. Um, Endure plus Salak is also nice because I can pair it with Hidden Power Ice 
and finesse a choice banded salamence which um i my only answer to is clicking counter and that's kind of annoying to predict um and endure salic actually allows you to potentially outplay uh starmie and this houndoom beats like a barrier alakazam and then at the end i paired this with a zapdos because i didn't want to lose to defensive water types like swampert vaporeon um just yeah pretty much swampert and vaporeon um also beats marowak really well and zapdos is just a stupid good pokemon like it's a secondary banned metagross answer it can it just beats a lot of, it's zapdos it's just it's really really good in preview as well all right let's watch this match whoa it's dom's old sample team versus my sample team i built this for um playing against robin in a 1v1 classic finals last year um I, this is sub pataya star me which i thought had a good matchup band aerodactyl to try to lure a raikou with earthquake and then uh just a calm mind Ente to cover up some other annoying matchups like a metagross or something let's see what happens aerodactyl into the marowak uh this marowak should win but wow hidden power flying to nothing clicks rock slide dies hey look at that we got a win with saizuki and ainscrad well i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video just seeing what some room randoms or just people are using in gen 3 in general and around robin and uh hope you learned something and oh i cannot forget to say this why aren't you subscribed to me yet if you've gotten this far in the video you should click subscribe helps me out i'm close to 200 subscribers like the video comment give me feedback what did you like what didn't you like seriously be honest with me don't just be like "Ooh, cute video like come on give me some feedback all right i'll see you on the next video